Time for two more games, and we'll do that with Give Me the Headlines presented by Hyundai. And so, well done, Pete. We have the animation. If you're watching on Peacock or YouTube, good job. Although maybe Gabby helped him out with that. I wouldn't be surprised on, on oh, that Oh, I'm whole sure. Thing. I'm sure. So we got two games, and can we do this at night? You know, usually in the morning we have some time to sleep on it, come up with a headline. You know, we're in the office. We're an editor of a newspaper. That's not going out of business. We're thriving. <laughs> Yeah, we I got guess two so. games we're talking about. I guess so. <laughs> two headline games here. Well, this might actually hurt the newspaper. The two headline games are the Commanders and Cardinals and Saints and Titans, although there are things to talk about in those games. Commanders defeat the Cardinals 20-16. to 16. Your headline is? Not in Commanders yet. Okay? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was a good start. Yeah. It was. All right? But specifically Sam Howell. He did some good things. You know, he, you know made, made a, you know, Few young quarterback mistakes, mm-hmm. some sacks, you know, misses a throw. Yeah, a lot of people going, it's Heineke esque, right? Yeah. It's a little bit of that, but this guy's got more talent than Heineke, uh, you know. But there, there was a little bit of that. He had the fumble, uh, had the interception that we talked about, you know, the Zaven Collins, where I don't know if you saw this, he like tried to put some juice on the ball and like really tried to throw a heater. And like lost control of it, and basically just threw a duck up in the air, Ooh, and Zayvon Collins that. caught it. Right, it was like it ended up being like a six-yard throw, and I think he was trying to throw like a twenty-yard laser. Right, so that was you know of course one big moment in the game. Uh, Antonio Gibson fumbled one time going down, or as they were driving, you know, like always felt like the Commanders were the better team on the football field, right? But. Josh Dobbs, the Cardinals, the Cardinals made some plays and because of those yeah. turnovers kind of hung around and got there. But here like here was the funniest thing. The 7 nothing drive by Washington, okay? Had 67 yards of penalties by the by the Cardinals. PIs, personal fouls, did some dumb stuff to let up the first touchdown. Um, and then really listen, Jonathan Gannon, he should be proud. His defense did some good things. It did. They 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 didn't run the ball all that well, Washington. They got pressure on Howell with a bunch of guys that I think a lot of people would be like, I don't even know who's on their defensive line. And there was not a lot of big pass plays. The Cardinals secondary is good. That's the one thing I know. Okay. They got some players over there. Between Marco Wilson, Buda Baker, Thompson, number 34, there's some ballers on that secondary. Uh, Zayvon Collins, of course, making the play there. You know, but yeah, offense is going to be, I think, kind of the struggle all year long with their quarterback and with lack of a, you know, a big time defense alignment or de- I mean, big time run game. They're going to have to play through through their their defense. That's for sure. You know who's good for uh, the Commanders on defense? I saw Forbes. He was he was around the field. Yeah, he, he was made some plays. He definitely and then, was. Uh, Cameron Curl. Had uh, 10 tackles for them. Seemed like he was breaking up passes, too. He's I, their, I saw him a lot. Safety, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw him a lot. Um, and then Montez Sweat yeah. getting the big strip sack You know, towards the end of the game that set up the touchdown for uh, Washington to go up 17-6. to six. Hey, you know, listen, Sam Howell, again, he looks like he belongs. He really does. Their old line I think is going to be better this year, even though it was not their best showing here, right? You know, uh, who I uh, Gardeck Gardeck got the uh, the one strip sack where you know Sam was looking downfield and just you know he where he's like I give him a lot of credit stands in the pocket and does not flinch with people around him. Yeah. But to the point there where yeah he's got to lo- got to feel that pressure a little bit or you know he's gonna lose the ball a lot. Yeah. What, uh, what was the nickname I was gonna have for him? It was like something like Heineke. Uh, oh no 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 yeah. Biddy Biddy Baker like Baker Mayfield. Like Biddy, a, ba- he's yeah. a little bit like that too. That's right. That's who we said. Remember coming out in the draft, that was kind of. He's yeah. like a Baker Mayfield kind light of, a little same, bit. Same uh, doesn't same have quite look. his arm. He does look like him, and he plays a little. I bit I want to like see if too. I'm missing anything else here. No, hold on, one so more I've thing. Got, I've got one. Oh, do you, you have got? one no, more thing? Ahead. Let me hear your first. I'm, I'm a little um, like Jonathan Gannon and also Shane Steichen, the two coordinators that came over from yeah. uh, from uh, the Eagles. Don't for to me. Don't look like head coaches yet. They still look like coordinators to me. I hear. I don't you. know what they have to do. Yeah, but they still have that coordinator look to me. I I hear you. Do you know what I mean? Just not that commander. Yeah. <laughs> That look not in commander yet, yet right? right? That adds to it. I don't know what you have to do to all of a sudden look like a head coach, but they're they're not there yet for me. No, I I, I get what you mean there. They still look new and new and raw. 
Is it you a know, beard? Jonathan, maybe? Jonathan Gannon looks young. Yeah, he does. You know, and then. But you're right because it's like Matt Lafleur does look like a head coach, but he has the beard. Right. Maybe they have to grow. So Arthur he's got Smith, nothing. Beard or mustache. But Shane Steichen had a little scruff on there today, didn't mm. he? He had a little scruff. Maybe. You know, Maybe but, he's trying. But in your first game, like you probably saw some clips, and he's probably a little bit like stressed too. And you're yeah. like, that doesn't look like a calm head coach. Yeah. You know, hey, it's a new experience for them as well. Um, oh, I, I think this thing I wanted to say was, you know, yeah, sweat, strip sack, fumble, and then another fumbled snap of the day. There was like oh. four or five fumbled snaps. Dobbs fumbles the snap, and that gave Washington the chance to get that last field goal, and you know that was in their own territory. That was, that was all they needed. Hey, it's just preseason for some of these teams that didn't play in the preseason, or players, so don't, don't you give, yeah. cut them some slack here. Week four, they're going to be taking all those snaps perfectly. I don't think we can expect the Cardinals to win a ton of football games, right? I don't, and I don't mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I think that was encouraging, at least, that they hung around today, created some chaos on the defensive side of the ball. And Joshua Dobbs, for being there for, what, 10, 12 days? He looked better than I thought he was going to look against that Washington defense. Titans hung around with the Saints. Saints pull off the victory, one-point victory, 16-15. to 15. Your headline for that game is? We got a new car, baby. And how did it run? <laughs> if, uh, actually, I drive a Tesla, so it doesn't make that sound. It just yeah. goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Sounds like the Batmobile. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like Derek Carr, the points don't show it, but every big play and every point was because of a Derek Carr big throw, move, big throw, whatever. They won the game because of, you know, his arm and then their defense. Now, you know, I, I didn't think the Tennessee Titans offense was going to be like the greatest show on turf, but I certainly didn't think Ryan Tannehill was going to throw three interceptions either. He looked really bad. Uh, I mean, it didn't look good. Like, not all. even the interceptions. I'm like saying, like, he it misfired. Just yeah. He didn't seem as mobile. No. Like, I, I don't know what. No, I, I, I almost get you. Looked, I, I almost had, like, that feeling, like, when you saw Matt Ryan last year and you're like, he looks feeble. Right. Like, I think you that think word might came. be going down, the, down this. He might be going on the feeble road. <sighs> I, I worry about their offense. I mean, 16 for 34, I don't care, first game, whatever. And then I think what's on top of that is, yeah, some, some bad decisions, sure. Right, you know, throwing a back shoulder to DeAndre Hopkins where the guy was already on his back. Um, what was the other one too? There was another one too. The uh, maybe maybe the Paulson Adebo one. The Marcus May. They were all bad, if I remember correctly. May was down there close to the end zone. Right, I got to read my notes here. Right, um, it was a long time ago. It was this six game. six, and he threw the interception. Right, and they their defense kept the minute as far as the Tennessee Titans. The Titans' defense was not bad. It's just they couldn't hold down the post to hold down the fort forever. But my point was getting back to that. Yeah. It's just that the Tennessee Titans, like, who's going to separate for them? You know, even on those plays where it was some bad interceptions, bad throws, I go, you know, sure, I'm disappointed in Tannehill, but it's not like these guys were open and you go, well, man, they missed a play right there. I mean, that's true. I mean, they got they got no juice at the position. Hopkins is not a number one, put him outside, oh, if we have man-to-man, he's going to get open. That's why most of the league didn't want to sign him. He needs to be the number two guy. He needs to be almost a slot guy. You saw like on the pick when L- Lattimore, Lattimore was like, he's not running by me, so I'll play behind him. I'm fine here. So that's where they're going to have to create and manufacture some offense there. We know they want to run the ball. Derrick Henry still looked good. You know, but yeah, Traylon Burks ain't scaring anybody yet. Mm-hmm. You know, Westbrook Aquina sometimes looks like the most dangerous receiver he would be the one probably that, right yeah. so th- that's where i can concerned about them i will say though you know tennessee's defense i think has some hope i know they let up some big plays in this football game yeah. but they played tough and did some creative things and and didn't make it easy on Derek carr and company the saints fans saying like come on we won the game talk about us chris olave looked good big rashid shaheed looked amazing like rashid shaheed is one of the most underrated receivers in football he really is. He can run by you. He's tough and catches it over the middle. His touchdown, a little double move, a little stutter go. I mean, wide open. Yeah, Olave's ability to, you know, stretch the field. The end of the first half, that was a big moment in the football game. It was 9-6, to six, I believe, Tennessee Titans, right? Am I thinking about that right? 
Uh, maybe was that the end of the first half? Yeah, Hold it was. On. It was it, it, yeah, nine six. It was nine six. Am I r- wrong there? Didn't he hit to- Rashid Shahid up the sideline at the end of the first half? Wasn't that the end of the first half? Mm. And then what happened? Did they miss the field goal there? But my point was that they obviously have confidence. We're getting in Derek close Carr. to midnight here. We're getting, we getting are getting fuzzy. close to midnight. I'm <laughs> messing up plays and can't remember here. <laughs> yeah, but not. I can't remember what it was. But yeah. either way, the Titans. I mean, the Saints D. Is still got some players. They're well coached on that side of the ball. I think the run game, it'll get better as we go along here. They still have a very good offensive line. And of course, you know, we got to wait till Alvin Kamara gets back. It's still encouraging the way Derek Carr looked, the way they made plays in the past game. Yeah, the Saints could definitely be a player in the NFC, that's for sure. And that was Give Me the Headlines presented by Hyundai. Yo, yo, thanks for watching, homies. I appreciate it. As always, the NFL season is right around the corner, so now it's your turn to hit subscribe to Chris Sims Unbutton. If you want to get all the training camp battles, preseason film review, playoff predictions, and much, much more, you know where to find it. It's right here, Chris Sims Unbutton. Please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Peace out, homies. See you soon.